kailan kaya darating yung panahon na pwede nating sabihin, narating ko na lahat ng pangarap ko, naabot ko na ang lahat ng gusto kong abutin, napuntahan ko na lahat ng gusto kong puntahan, nakita ko na ang lahat ng taong gusto kong makita, wala na akong hahangarin pa. Kailan kaya darating yung panahong yon? When we can say, I have lived a fulfilling life and I feel I am at the top of the world and I have no more dreams, I am just happy where I am right now. Kailan kaya darating yon? Kapag napagpatapos na lahat ng anak, kapag nakapag-retire ka na at kakain ka kahit di ka magtrabaho, o kapag nakapag-abroad, nakapag-liwaliw sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo, kailan natin masasabi na wala na akong hihingin pa because I am now a fulfilled person. Bago ko sagutin yun, ay meron akong isa pa isa inyong itatanong. Kailan masasabi ng isang bulaklak na punong-puno na siya ng kaligayahan kaya wala na siyang hihingin pa? Yung bang bukang-buka na yung bulaklak at kitang-kita mo ang ganda, amoy na amoy mo yung bango at yun ba ang pinaka mahalagang bahagi ng buhay ng isang bulaklak? Ang sagot po ay hindi. Hindi mo naiintindihan ang buhay ng isang bulaklak kung ang tingin mo, kapag bukang-buka siya, mabangong-mabango siya, pinakamaganda siya, ay yon ang kanyang tuktok ng buhay. Kailan pala? Ang bulaklak ay nakakakita ng kaganapan ng kanyang buhay kapag nakadikit pa siya sa kanyang halaman, sa kanyang stem, sa kanyang sanga, at dahan-dahang nalalagas yung talulot. At pagkatapos matuyo, ay magiging buto, at yung buto, mahuhulog sa lupa, at magkakaroon ng bagong halaman, at ilang linggo pa, mayroon ng bagong bulaklak. That is the high point of the flower. The high point of the flower is not when the flower is most beautiful. The high point of the flower is when the flower starts to dry and then produce seeds so that the same flower can make other flowers. That is the high point of life. Hindi yung sikat na sikat, hindi yung pinakamaganda, hindi yung walang kulubot, hindi yung walang namimintas. Ang pinakamataas na yugto ng ating buhay ay baka nung wala tayong kapangyarihan at parang nalalanta ka ng barang bulaklak. Pero alam mo na kapag nalanta ka, magbibigay ka ng buto na hindi mo maibigay habang ikaw ay sariwa. Hindi ka pwedeng magbigay ng buto na tutubo habang ikaw ay namumukadkad bilang bulaklak. You will be able to produce seeds to produce other flowers when you have started to try. That is the beauty of fulfillment. Meron akong isang alam na ibon. Ang tawag ay thorn bird. Hindi ito novela ng isang Australianong novelist. Sapagat meron po talagang ibon na ang tawag ay thorn bird. Ano ang karakteristik ng ibon na ito? Na kapag hindi na siya inakay, hindi na siya maliit na ibon, at aalis na siya sa kanyang pugad, lilipad siya ng lilipad at hindi siya dadapo hanggang hindi niya tatagpuan ang kanyang thorn tree. Yung kanyang thorn tree 
hahanapin niya ng hahanapin, hindi siya dadapo kahit saan. Hanggang mapagod, hindi siya dadapo. Hahanapin niya ang kanyang thorn tree, yung kanyang destiny na puno. Thorn tree. At kapag nakita na niya yung kanyang thorn tree, dadapo siya doon at saka lamang siya aawit ng pinakamatamis na awit ng isang ibon. And at the last note of the thorn bird, who has found his thorn tree, the bird dies. Mamamatay na siya pagkatapos na ang buong buhay na paghahanap sa kanyang thorn tree. At kapag nakita na niya yun, the thorn bird will sing his final and only song. And then after that, he dies. So when are you most fulfilled? Kailan yung ang buhay mo ay buong buo at pwede mo nang sabihin, wala na akong hihingin pa. When was it in the life of the Lord? Was it when He was making the dead rise up? Was it when He was feeding the 5,000? Was it when He was making the cripples walk? When He was making the blind see? Was it when He entered Jerusalem and people acclaimed Him, Hosanna to the Son of David? And the answer is no. When was the Lord most fulfilled? When He could not touch us anymore because the hands were nailed to the cross. When He could not go from village to village anymore because their feet were nailed to the cross. When He could not breathe anymore because He was nailed to the cross and His whole body was bloodied and wounded and bleeding. That was His moment of power. That was His moment of fulfillment when He was able to give everything and like a flower was producing seeds to make other flowers. And like the thorn bird was singing the final song to make the world happy. That is the fulfillment. Mga minamahal kong kapatid, kailan katunay na pinakamasaya? Hanapin mo yun. Pakinggan mo ang iyong puso. Pero ang tunay na saya ay hindi yung manalo sa eleksyon. Ang tunay na saya ay hindi maging presidente ng korporasyon. Ang tunay na saya ay hindi mag number one sa survey. Ang tunay na saya ay hindi magkaroon ng lupat bahay at sasakyan. Ang tunay na saya ay kapag maging buto ka na at makagawa ka ng ipapangbulaklak. Kapag dumapo ka na sa punong hinanap po buong buhay at aawit ka na ng iyong papamaalam. Kapag ipinako sa krus ang katawan, ang paa at ang kamay, at pagkatapos ay pwede mo nang sabihin, it is finished, naganap na. Ang balo sa ating ibanghelyo ay gayon. Iisa na lamang ang daladala niyang yaman. Kakaunti na lamang ang daladalang arena, subalit ibinigay. At dahil doon, mayroong isang nabusog. At dahil doon, mayroong isang natulungan. And that is the fulfillment of our lives. When we are able to produce other seeds so that we are not only the flowers, we, will can, we can make other flowers so that we can sing our song and sing a song to make this world more beautiful so that nailed to the cross we can say i have run the race the seed is fallen and the seed will bear fruit balik tayo sa tanong kailan ka tunay na masaya at kailan ka Tunay na sasaya. Kailan?